this is experiment number 7 today and objective of this experiment is to find coefficient of static and kinetic friction actually we have two experiments the second part is to find spring constant of a unknown spring actually we will give you here three springs and they have different qualities so their spring constants will be different so let us first go to the experiment number one to find coefficient of static friction for that to do the experiment actually you pull a trolley on the table and we pull trolley with some weight so that trolley has a weight for weight you need masses you need computer and you need recorder some device which will send the data to the computer so theory for this as you know from your classroom frictional force is directly proportional to the normal force you want an equation frictional force is mu which is coefficient of friction fm this here is this time general you know that normal force on the table is mg fn is mg now what will be static friction mu s will be the force divided by force of friction divided by normal force okay so uh, now for kinetic friction you have mu k which is equal to the force of friction divided by normal force okay so now you need you will observe these forces by observing the curve on the computer screen when you pull smoothly the trolley with the weight typically curve will be like this you see computer will plot this force here and time here now as soon as you pull the trolley you will see this up peak and then this will flatten out like this so select a flat flat portion and highlight this computer will give you number and this number will be mu k okay so same thing you see the peak here this peak is coefficient of static friction mu s so you highlight this portion computer will give you the number on the screen you record that that is static friction and this is kinetic friction so uh, this experiment uh, we will uh, data is provided so you can uh, see and uh, you can calculate and you can do the graph now part two part two is a different experiment and it is about spring force you see if you have a spring and you can extend the spring then spring force we can realize this is normal position of the spring so this is normal length x naught now if i want to extend this then x with some extension spring looks this this length here is after extended is x this is length x so this is x naught and this is x so what I need is the extension how much it has gone up from the normal so what you will do is you will record force is directly proportional to the extension extension I am recording as x so f is directly proportional to x f is equal to kx or k the spring constant is equal to force divided by x and unit of force is newton unit of x is meter so this is newton per meter will be the unit and do this in SI unit you may be recording data in centimeters but convert that centimeter into meter and then you can get the spring constant k in newton per meter now we will give you three springs for each spring plot one graph so you have actually three graphs but you can plot three graphs on the same paper on the same page that means three lines on the same page you don't have to have three graph papers for this one but you will get three lines three slopes and three force constants okay now slope will be k is equal to delta f over delta x newton per meter okay now you have another part in this experiment and that part is this you will compress a hard spring and you will find a spring constant the same way uh, how much is the compression and you will do this again slope is equal to delta f over delta x 
uh, we will give you the data and you plot the graph. This graph you should plot on a separate graph paper than this one. I think this is over.